Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Uh This is the brother uh, Aina from the GMS Dallas camp. I want to give all doubles, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and uh, peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Today, I just want to get into a, a quick hit um, talking about. Uh, you know the pride of, of our nation as, as as Israelites. You know, lots of times we seek to, uh, you know, look for our suppressor. We look towards our oppressor in order to uh, gain carnal things in this world instead of you know seeking towards the Lord. So I'm going to get into uh, Isaiah chapter 30. I'm going to start at verse one. It says, "Woe to the rebellious children," saith Yahweh, "that take counsel but not of me." And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. So, Israel has a thing where, you know, if you tell if you tell something to them according to the scriptures, they don't they don't want to hear it, but they'll go right to to their oppressor. And and and, and nowadays, you know, Esau is our oppressor, the so-called white man. <laughs> and uh, you know, they just they 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 go off, you know, and that, that's why they're always sick. They never. Uh, are really truly healed they're always longing for something because Esau is constantly giving them poison you know instead of what they actually need to be healed which is how about Shimei Um that they may add sin to sin okay they, they wander astray um, and, and you know they, they want to be they want to be comforted by Esau's system that he has set up basically uh, verse 2 it says uh, they that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth you know we don't require we don't inquire of the Lord anymore you know what we should do you know Jake two-thirds of Jake you know is, is very uh, impulsive to just do whatever he wants you know based off of whatever demons the Lord put on him instead of asking of the Lord what the smartest thing to do is you know it says and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. So instead of, uh, you know, uh, telling Jake, you know, what's lawful, you know, to, to eat, for example, you know, uh, he'll, he'll go to the so-called white man and, 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 and who will, who will tell him to eat nothing but shrimp, or, you know, or nothing but, uh, uh, meat and to stop eating vegetables and just take this pill that I give you this supplement okay and and that'll heal you but obviously that's not working man you know you how about shimmy has been trying to been trying to tell us as, as as a people that we need to get we need to put our trust in him you know but instead we trust in our oppressors I'm gonna keep going it says uh therefore verse 3 therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh and the modern day Pharaoh is who who was Pharaoh? Pharaoh's king of Egypt. This is spiritually, matter of fact, let me get it in uh, Revelations, uh, book of Revelation. Revelation chapter, uh, chapter 11, verse 8. This is talking about Babylon the Great. It says, uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt so this is spiritually Egypt this is spiritually Sodom you see it says where also our Lord was crucified and Yahweh is spiritually being crucified because they they put up images of of, of you know the so-called white man being Yahweh and we know that's not his that's not his image according to the Bible let me get that real quick okay just to prove that that he's not a so-called white man, he's actually uh, looks more like a he's actually of the tribe of Judah, which is would be considered a, a so-called Negro. This is uh, Revelation uh, chapter one. It says uh, in verse fourteen, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, which means his head and his beard, his hairs were white because of age. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Verse 15, and his feet like unto fine brass. Okay? 
So, for example here, I have a penny, right? This is, this is copper, also known as brass, right? I'm gonna continue, it says, as white as snow, and his eyes as a flame of fire, verse 15, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they had been burned in a furnace. So imagine a burnt penny, okay, how dark that is. You know, Yahushua was a was a dark, a dark skinned man, you know, which is an indicator that that's not uh, uh, he, that he's that he's not that the so called Jews over there, okay, the the uh, the uh, Amalekites are not Israelites. They're not the true biblical Israelites. They don't fit the prophecy. But that's just a physical, that's just a, that's just the identifier, you know, who the nation of Israel is. Um. Okay, and his voice as the sound of many waters. He had a deep voice. Okay. But uh, back to the sermon. Um, in uh, Isaiah chapter thirty. Um, let's see. Let's go down to uh, verse nine. Okay. It says uh, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Why? Because the Most High has taken the understanding of the Scriptures away from them. He's taken, he's taken our heritage away from us, and only those who uh, who are of the elect of the nation of Israel have been uh, ordained to understand this. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get a, pre, a quick precept in um, Isaiah the sixth chapter, okay, in the ninth verse. It says, and he said, go and tell this people. Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. So how about Shimei Shai doesn't want uh, 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 every, everyone of the nation of the of the nation of Israel to to convert and be healed, because he already knows that. We we're rebellious people, you know. We're stiff necked. We're stiff necked, okay. We don't like to listen to, to to what anybody has to say until, you know, some 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 fire is put behind our behind, you know. Uh, and that's for two thirds of Israel. That's what it's gonna take, okay. So let's go back to uh, Isaiah here. In uh, chapter thirty, uh, let me begin at verse nine again. That this is a rebellious people, lying children. Children that will not hear the law of Yahweh, which say to the seers, the seers are who? The prophets, okay? Which say to the seers, see not. So they don't want us to prophesy. Anytime you try to even tell uh, 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 an Israelite, you know, that he's an Israelite, he doesn't even want to hear that, okay? They despise the, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And so the Most High is going to cast them away, okay? He's constantly, he's constantly, uh, uh, calling for the nation of Israel, he's, he's stretching forth his hand, and we're turning and we're turning his hand away. You know, two thirds of Israelites are turning their hand away, but the, the the men of the Lord are actually going to to hear the words and take heed, and they're going to you know, the Most High is going to deliver them out of that situation because they believe the report. Okay. Uh, verse ten again, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not. 